From the shanty towns of the urban cities to the remote villages across our country, Ghana, we bring you some of the most inspiring and touching stories of change. These are stories of hope, stories of sacrifice, passion, and determination in the face of adversity. Welcome to season three of the MTN Heroes of Change, brought to you by the MTN Ghana Foundation and MTN, everywhere you go. More and more people are using MTN mobile money in their everyday lives. Hear that? She just paid her kids' school fees. She just paid for her lunch. And this man just paid his tithe. And this guy just paid for his shoes. No, 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 no. We just send money to the old lady again, it's eh? Very rich here. It's very necessary. Very it's necessary. Like money in your pocket. <laughs> Keep up with the time. Got a payment to make? Just momo it. It's that simple, secure, and convenient. Welcome to the sound of better money. MTN, everywhere you go. The MTN Heroes of Change over the last two seasons has been rewarding the extraordinary and selfless work of individuals serving their communities. Last season, the overall winner of the MTN Heroes of Change received 100,000 CDs to support their project. This edition is no exception, as 10 nominees will be hoping to impress our judges and win our hearts with their projects. Remember, you also get a unique opportunity to determine who becomes the overall winner of this season's MTN Heroes of Change by voting and texting. Our heroes are community crusaders, health providers, and facilitators. They are also strong advocates of education and undertake initiatives to empower their communities economically. Madame Paulina Opey was our overall winner for last season with her project of sheltering orphans and needy children. What has she been up to? Let's find out. My name is Paulina Priscilla Opey. I take care of babies who have lost their mothers through childbirth in the rural communities. In recognition of over 22 years of great personal sacrifice and your contribution to socioeconomic development, MTN awards you Madame Paulina Pen, the overall MTN Hero of Change for season two. To the Chief Executive of MTN Ghana, Ebenezer Santos, the presentation to the hero of change, Paulina Ope. Actually, I was not expecting to be the ultimate winner of this uh, program. And uh, I was so overwhelmed when I was selected as the ultimate winner. In fact, I'm short of words. It hasn't been easy. It's all a surprise. In those years, in the 80s, when I was posted to Agroisum Hospital, where the Buruli Osa, we have been working on it, coupled with maternal deaths and a whole lot of issues going on there, I dedicated to saving lives, especially of little ones. And I thank God that MTN have seen me and brought me here. Me, who am I? to win such an award. The Absolutely. MTN Heroes of Change. It has uh, helped me to be recognized in nationally and internationally. And uh, it has also opened doors for my program. My name is Rakasa Akodiade. Um, I'm a product of Save Our Lives Ghana in Amyong Kwanta. When MTN came here last year, and I was having some challenges, especially in the final year, so when mom won the prize, I was given some amount to pay for the final semester. After receiving the amount, 
I was able to enroll 16 children from this facility into the primary school. Seven junior high students have also been enrolled into the boarding school in Kumasi. I, also, I have also started health education programs to reduce teenage pregnancy in my district because the, our district ranks the highest or the first. My name is David, one of the products of Save Our Lives of an Age. And currently, I'm working at Jodo Company Limited. After the interview and everything was showed on the television, I, I mentioned in the interview that like I had no job. I've completed school there and I had no job. So after I was like, somebody just granted me a job. 50% of the amount has also been into the establishment of two main blocks for our school. I don't even know what to say about what uh, MTN has done for Save Our Lives. And I want to thank them sincerely from the depth of my heart. Through this uh, award, I have also been recognized internationally that I'm doing something good for uh, disadvantaged children. Life is better with MTN Mobile Money. It's easy, fast, and super convenient. Experience the new world of better money. Apam Senior High School is one of the prestigious high schools in the central region, serving the Gumwa West District and surrounding communities. The school, over the years, has become a victim of its very own success with a rise in number of applicants with inadequate facilities and structures to match the numbers. Now guess who showed up to help save the situation? Wherever you go in Ghana, there's an MTN Foundation project making a difference in the lives of the people. Here is one such story. When I came to this school, at Palm Senior High School, my first year, during my first year, I having problems with ventilation. We couldn't have uh, to sleep. We didn't have the fresh air. When we were in the old house, we had a girl who contracted um, chicken paws and due to the overcrowding in the house, many of the girls got that disease and they were sent home for treatment. Old boys and girls side, we have a, a very big congestion over there. But since the girls are outnumbering the boys, we have more problem at the guest dormitory. So many students apply to be admitted into the school, but because of such limited resources, it is, uh, it is serving as a barrier for us to be admitting more students into the school. MTN came to save the school by providing us with one story building facility for the guests. This new building has given us a space for us to learn very well. It has prevented us from contracting diseases from our fellow friends. Compared to the old house, we were overcrowded there, but the new house, each student has a single bed. We can discuss and share our views, and there is enough ventilation compared to the situation we had in the old house. This house can now take about 250 girls, which has really helped the system a lot. And managing the girls now is better than uh, before we had this structure. <laughs> the day MTN came, 
to hand over the facility to the school as a joyful day in a colorful ceremony and I was particularly happy. The benefits of education seem endless. And because of these benefits, and also because education shapes attitudes and helps people to realize their potential and enhance their opportunities to contribute meaningfully to society, MTN has education as one of its focus areas for giving back. With the introduction and commissioning of this new blog, I believe very much that it's going to assist us and to help our previous difficulties which were in terms of accommodation and we believe this new dome will ease the tension and congestion previously that we had. Today we are so comfortable and we are so grateful to MTN Ghana for your support, for your kindness and being benevolent to Apam Senior High School. I want to say a very big thank you to MTN for providing us the new house for students to get enough space to learn. On behalf of GES, Board of Governors, Management, and we are very grateful to MTN for coming to our aid to ease the congestion in the school for us. Thank you, Since its establishment in 2007, the MTN Ghana Foundation has led the way in corporate social investments in Ghana by impacting the lives of over 4 million people in the areas of education, health, economic empowerment, and other community support programs across the country. The MTN Ghana Foundation has spent over 32.2 million Ghana CDs on various social development initiatives, brightening lives, and making a difference. How to create light What a try In our very, very first story, we travel to the Upper East region to meet Joseph Asaki Bean from Sirigu. He's a social worker who's rescuing what we call spirit children and giving them a second chance at life. I brought off uh, Angela in the hospital. When I took my child home, my husband said he won't accept me in the house any longer. My uncle, wife gave birth to a boy and in four days' time, there was a problem in the house. And actually, they went to consult the suicide ancestors. And they came and said, the child is a spirit child. So they went and brought a man called a concoction man who actually prepared the herbs and gave it to the child to die. So it pains me because at that time, I didn't know why we should kill that innocent child. So 
that's something that actually pulled my heart to go into the community to educate them to stop the phenomenon. I have a husband. I already have two children who are normal children, very beautiful. But when I brought forth Angela, there the trouble started. And he wanted to kill the child, that the child was a spirit child. If he doesn't kill the child, uh, he will destroy the family. And that is why I ran away. It's malnutrition and medical conditions that actually cause that practice to be happening in my community. The action that I took was to meet with the concoction man first, for him to explain to me why he needs to actually administer the concoction to the child. So he explained to me that it's a traditional practice, something that I've come to help from the forefathers, that when a child is born with certain deformities and they consult their gods, and the gods said, yes, the spiritual, the only way they can do is that to administer the concoction to the child for him to die and then to take him to go and bury at that ritual in order to purify the gods. Before I gave birth to my son called Richmond, some people were not understanding him, so they called him a dwarf. But I took him to Mr. Joe, and then according to him, he said, no, he is not a dwarf. So from there, I actually met the chief and told me this what has touched me. And I think that the best thing for us to do is to sit as a community, so to see how we can be able to educate our people on that spiritual phenomenon. So it was there that I actually formed a team for her to see how we can talk to the women groups first because there are people who are involved in the act and the people who actually are vulnerable for that purpose. When I gave birth to him and he was like that, when I was not realizing that he wasn't behaving normal as others, I was thinking that maybe God doesn't love me. And his problem was that after birth, he fell sick and affected the spinal cord in the brain. So he couldn't sit, he couldn't talk, he couldn't lie down. He was just rolling on the ground. So we brought him for the training. So from the training, he picked up, could now sit, but not all that completely. We could talk something small, but not all that loud. Africans as an organization, our philosophy is to identify local people who are supporting their communities without any support from elsewhere. And that is how come we identify Joe and we have been supporting him. We want to see why those deformities and then those uh, situations are coming into the community. Currently, the CP children that we're doing needs assistive devices, which are highly valuable because for us to export them or to bring them inside the local it's highly impossible for them. Most of the communities that we want to actually educate on the spiritual phenomena, we will need money to do some small sectional talks, the devils, and to also put informants in place for this sensitive thing that we're doing. People can hide on carpets to do this. At the same time, some of them need operations, medical operations. We don't have more funding to do the operation. Joe, he has been very influential to the public, to religious people, to elders, even to the chiefs of the area. He worked with them for so many years, after which they all agreed and came together and declared um, the spiritual phenomenon completely abolished. For now, my child can walk from Africa to the market. She can go and fetch water from the tide and she can wash books for me. She washes her own things. I've had help so much. May God help him and also push him into doing things which anytime he sees people like my son, he will also have the feelings to encourage them so that people will not see them wayward. My dream is that we should have a special school in the region, if possible, in the Kashana Kana West District. So we do cater for children like Rickborn that will have a potential in the future.
My name is Joseph Awindongo Asakbe. My project name is Operation Circle. Yes. That works to stop the spiritual phenomenon. We hope you've been inspired to make a difference wherever you are. If you want Joseph Asaki Bean to be the overall winner of the MTN Heroes of Change, text Joseph, the short code 1406 on all networks. You can also send your comments and thoughts to our WhatsApp number 0554 222 222 or post on any of our other MTN social media handles displayed on your screen. If you know great individuals who are not part of our final 10, but are making a positive impact in their own small way, go to our Facebook page and post their picture. Tell us how they're making your community a better place. You stand a chance of winning fantastic prizes. In next week's episode, we'll meet Reverend Monsignor Bobby Benson and his family members at Matthew 25, not in the Bible, but in Kofodia, working together to remove the stigma surrounding HIV AIDS. MTN Heroes of Change is brought to you by MTN Ghana Foundation and MTN Everywhere You Go. people are using MTN mobile money in their everyday lives. Hear that? She just paid her kids school fees. She just paid for her lunch. And this man just paid his tithe. And this guy just paid for his shoes. No, 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 no. You just send money to the old lady again, eh? Very necessary. Very necessary. Money in your pocket. Keep up with the time. Got a payment to make? Just momo it. It's that simple, secure, and convenient. Welcome to the sound of better money. MTN, everywhere you go.